Oh my. Lady Clotilde, is it time for you to depart? Yes, I'll be stepping out for a while. But more importantly, who do we have here? Is that... No way! V... 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 Vita Clotilde? I never thought I'd actually get the chance to meet her. Wait, who is this now? You three! Don't just stand there staring! You're in the presence of the legendary opera singer Vita Clotilde! The Azure Diva herself! The Azure Diva, huh? Hmm, I do recall hearing that name at some point. Wait, you don't know who she is? <laughs> I'm not surprised. Opera is a world unto itself. I expect there are multitudes who have never heard of me before. I'm Vita Clotilde, an opera singer. I'd be delighted if you would come and hear me sing sometime.
chest the advantage is ours okay Should keep going. Advantage is ours. Let's finish him. My turn. Here I go. Yeah. Hostiles neutralized. Guess we're safe. Chance. We can do this! Here we go! My turn. Right! Hi! Evil will fall before my blade. Trigger chest.
evil will fall before my blade. This would make a great training area. I envy the people who live around here. Only you would see an underground passage. The advantage is ours. Go. Ha! Okay. My turn. Hi. My turn. Ha! Is everybody okay? Is ours. Here we go. There you go. Still feed dance. That's that. Targets eliminated. Let's get going. Try your best. The advantage is ours. Here we go. My turn. Right. Oh, we did it. We have nothing to fear. Okay. There's a performance just for you. See, we make a great team. is ours my turn okay right oh we did it no 
Now's our chance. We can do this. Here we go. Azure Flames, gather on my blade. Okay. My turn. Okay. My turn. All right, let's keep going. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Okay. My turn. Right. My turn. Hi. You still have a lot of training to do. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Go. The second form. Gale. Now's our chance. Broken. I'll handle it. Is everybody okay? The advantage is ours. I'll handle it. Timing darkness! Nocturne Bell! Go! Okay, it's safe for now. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Go. Okay. Of course. Right. Go. Okay. It's safe for now.
advantage is ours. Let's finish him. Go! Okay. My turn! Right! Go! That's that. Let's keep moving. Now's our chance. Let's get him. My turn. One, two. Okay, it's safe for now. Challenging f Bring it on! Here we go! This should help! Shatter! Off guard! Broken! My turn! Chiming darkness! Not turn bell! My turn! All right, let's do this! Got yeah. it. Leave it to me! I'll handle it. One, two... Yeah. Got it! Let's get this over with. Understood! Leave it to me. 
My turn. Okay, that was tough. Nice work, though. Well, that was... You know, maybe you should just stop worrying about trying to form a combat link with the... Yeah, maybe. I mean, I can see why you'd really want to. No. I don't want to hold our group back more than I already have. I'd like to withdraw from active combat and take a more supporting role for the duration of this field study. Why? But Laura, it doesn't make any sense for you not to be in the thick of the fight. Don't be ridiculous. If anyone should be benched, it's me. It makes sense when you consider what each of us brings to a fight. No. My own immaturity is the cause of this. There's still a part of me that refuses to accept you and... Uh. Uh. I'm sorry. I didn't think I was this narrow-minded. And I apologize for the distress. My prejudice has no d I came to realize during my club activities that I st- Laura. As such, Reen, I wish- Denied. Actually, I'll be the one withdrawing from frontline combat. Wha- Huh? Reen? This seems awfully sudden. What's your line of- during all the battles we fought, one thing stood out to me. I couldn't help but notice that under ordinary circumstances, Laura and Fee's fighting styles complement each other perfectly. I... Well... You think so? Interesting. What do you mean? Laura's the ideal knight, standing strong in the thick of the fight, dominating enemies with her blade. Then there's Fee, the ideal vanguard, overwhelming the opposition with their speed and creating openings for Laura. During the practical exam, none of us should have stood a chance against the two of you. Hmm. When you put it that way, it does make sense. If they could form a combat link, they'd be virtually unstoppable. Yeah. I don't think that's escaped you two either. That's why you keep trying to form a combat link, but there's something stopping you from connecting with each other.
whatever it is. It's been frustrating both of you this whole time. Mm-hmm. It's exactly as you say. Okay, so, since that's how things stand, it makes no sense for you two to just give up and withdraw from combat. In fact, considering everyone's relative strengths and weaknesses, it makes the most sense for me to fall back. This way, you'll have more chances to work out whatever it is that's standing in the way of you forming a link. You have my thanks. We'll take you up on your offer then. That's what I like to hear. <sighs> you really can be audacious sometimes, you know. Just like you were with me and Eusis. You think? I don't really think I did anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> That's so you, Reen, to not think anything of it. Still, thanks to you, there might be hope for these two after all. We'll do what we can. But first, we need to get back to the hotel, right? Leave it to me! Eat that! by treasure. Must be getting close to the exit now.
Ooh, this looks like a good spot. That's a catch. Huh. Now that's a catch. What even is this?
Whoa, this is incredible. He could open a shop with all the instruments here. A piano, violins, wind instruments, a robust percussion section. I'm assuming the papers in the cabinet are all sheet music? There's no way you can call this just a hobby. <laughs> yeah, coming in here, this must look like some rabid obsession to you guys. You know, my mom was a pretty famous pianist. Being raised around music like that, my sister and I ended up sharing her love of music. Really? Looking at all this, I can see why you decided to join the wind orchestra at the academy. Still, why didn't you go to the same school as the people we met earlier? Fee? Wait, Fee, that's not... <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm sure this comes as no surprise, but I'd originally planned to attend the music academy. Oh. <sighs> My sister and I grew up listening to our mom play the piano. Dad was more the strong, stoic type. He didn't know much about music, but he was head over heels in love with her. Our home was always filled with the sound of music, and it kept our family smiling together. But seven years ago, Mom got really ill. Eventually, she passed away. After her death, my sister and I both wanted to follow in her footsteps. She enrolled at the Music Academy and began working toward a career as a pianist. Naturally, I tried to do the same. But Dad wouldn't hear of it. It's one thing to have it as a hobby, but the idea of a man of the Empire making his living through music is absurd. No matter how hard I tried to convince him, he just shook his head and refused to listen. Then he started recommending one military academy after another, trying to push me toward a career in the army. Eventually, I didn't have much choice. I had to give up my dream of attending the music academy. I hated him for it. I really did. I'm no good at fighting, never have been. I'd get smoked in a real war. But after some research, I found one academy, Thor's, offered plenty of music-related classes. And that about half of its graduates end up in careers outside the military. In the end, I met him halfway and chose to enroll at Thor's. <laughs> Kinda pathetic, huh? You've all got great reasons why you're there at the academy. Then there's me, who'd rather be on a stage than a battlefield. But I couldn't go against my dad. For a while, I started to think that maybe my passion for music had kind of cooled off. But I'm still full of regrets about the Music Academy and the Summer Festival concert, so I guess it hasn't after all. Oh, I wish I could just crawl into a hole right now. So that's how you ended up at Thor's. I had no idea. <gasps> Do you regret it? Coming to Thor's and all? Huh? Of course not. Why would I? Huh? So, you don't? Life at the Academy keeps me busy, but I still have time to perform with the Wind Orchestra after class is out. And I feel like I really broaden my horizons every time we go on a field study. Honestly, I feel like I get more out of Thor's than if I had just enrolled at the Music Academy without much thought. Maybe it's because whether I decide I want to be a musician or do something else totally different, I'll at least have the chance to choose what I want without someone deciding for me. Elliot. Wow, you've really given this a lot of thought. You really are strong, Elliot. <laughs> I wish I thought so too. I still feel jealous when I see my friends who went to the music academy putting their heart and soul into their music. 
But even with that, I've got no regrets about coming to Thor's. None at all. Besides, if I hadn't come, I never would have met you guys, would I? I'd regret that way more. How can you say that with a straight face? Maybe he's just oblivious. I didn't think I was saying anything particularly embarrassing. <laughs> I'd figured that most people would blush saying something like that. <laughs> Still, this is Elliot we're talking about. He can get away with it. You're the last person who should be saying that, Reen. Actually, I just remembered. I guess I do have one regret after all. Oh? What is it? Remember the summer festival concert my friend said they're going to be performing in? Back when my mom was still alive, she performed in it, and my sister played in it five years ago too. So I was really hoping that I'd be able to take the stage there one day too.
Ah, what a pleasant evening. It's pretty relaxing. Hmm. I don't see any people in this part of the park. I'm fine with here if you are. Ugh. All right, Fee. Here are my conditions. If I win this duel, I want you to tell me about your past. Your personal history. At first, there was something about your strength that I couldn't bring myself to accept. From the moment we first met, I could tell you were holding back. And considering your build, your combat proficiency is extraordinary. It's simply too far removed from what I've come to know through following the way of the sword. No doubt. Really? Yeah, all things considered, Fee's strength is totally improbable for someone her size. To add to that, you were once part of a Jaeger Corps. I can't say I've ever thought of the Jaegers in a particularly favorable light. If one defines knighthood as the way of the virtuous, how can the path of the Jaeger be seen as anything but corrupt? I came to believe that because we'd been raised with such strongly opposing values, I could not accept you. <gasps> However, I was mistaken. <laughs> After hearing Elliot's story, I asked myself again why it was that I felt such resistance to fighting alongside you. I tried to ascertain my own feelings, slowly and carefully, and that was when I finally realized, during all these months we spent together, I've known deep down that you were worthy of my trust. Our values had nothing to do with that judgment. It came from my heart alone. <sighs> But in my stubbornness, I refused to acknowledge that one simple truth. In my heart, I had already deemed you worthy of trust. Yet in my mind, I still couldn't see past our incompatibilities. I suspect that contradiction was what prevented us from using our Arcus to fight as one. <laughs> so, that's how it was. Did you know about this? Yeah, I noticed during our fight with that monster earlier. You aren't the only one who thought we couldn't get along. You live your life so... honestly. I guess somewhere along the way I'd given up on you ever accepting me. I see. Still, what does this have to do with wanting to know about my past? Why do you want to know? <laughs> it's very simple, really. I want to know because I like you. What are you? I find it frustrating when I'm not able to understand those I've taken an interest in or have a high opinion of. I felt like this several months ago with Reem, and I feel the same way now. That's why I want to know your history. I want to know what shaped you into who you are now. That said, this is simply an act of self-indulgence on my part. Nothing more, nothing less. <sighs> I'm not sure what to say. That's our lore, all right. You really are something else. It's fine. I don't mind telling you. But taking your spoils by force is the Jaeger's way through and through. Is that okay with you? <laughs> it's fine. Because I have no intention of thinking of my reward as a spoil of battle. I'd much rather consider it an honor, bestowed for a hard-won victory. Fine by me. You just talk things out. Why do you even need to fight now? <laughs> All right, I'll officiate your duel. Neither of you need to hold anything back. If I think it's getting too dangerous, I'll step in and stop the fight. Very well. Thanks.
go! Impressive. Same to you. Then I won't hold back. Allow me to show my strongest skill learned from my father. Then I'll show you my strongest. Learned it from the boss himself. That's enough! <sighs> uh, I... I couldn't even tell who won. What about you, Reen? I feel bad saying this after volunteering to be the judge, but as far as I could tell, it was a draw. Really? Huh. <sighs> well, I suppose it is what it is. I'll simply have to continue my training and challenge you again another time. And don't forget, I still wish to duel you as well. Wait, why me? <laughs> Honestly. Actually, I lost this one. Huh? Jaegers are at our best when we fight at night. The darkness gives us an edge. But even after I threw out a flash grenade, the duel still ended in a draw. If we'd fought during the day, I would have lost. That's... She has a point. Well then... Very well. I'll accept this victory. Hmm. Well, anyway... I guess the two of us should go for a little stroll, then. I don't mind if you listen. Is that fine with you, Laura? I have no objections. We're all in this together. Okay. I used to be part of a Jaeger Corps called Zephyr. Before that, my earliest memories are of explosions and battlefields. I found myself wandering in a war-torn hotspot on the outskirts of some country I never even knew the name of. Jaeger Corps threw themselves into battle for the highest bidder day after day, while I wandered alone. The man who eventually took me in called himself the Jaeger King. He was the leader of Zephyr, a pretty famous Jaeger Corps. He was middle-aged, crafty, stubborn, and lucky. He always seemed so carefree, but he never let his guard down. To me, though, he was the closest thing to a father I've ever had. The other members of Zephyr had their quirks, but they were all nice to me. As time went on, I started helping with the cleaning, the cooking, the packing. During my free time, they started teaching me all kinds of skills I'd need to survive on the battlefield. One thing led to another, and I ended up fighting in my first real battle. I was... 10, I think. The boss was reluctant, but after the others persuaded him, he made me a full-fledged member of the group. For the next few years, we lived and fought together. I even picked up a nickname like some career Jaegers do. Sylphied. We roamed all across the continent together. There were hard times. Times when we thought we might not live through the night, but we always did. Together. Until last year, when our boss died. It was a clash with another Jaeger Corps. The Red Constellation. People used to say they were the only other Jaeger Corps in West Zemuria who could match us. Their leader, a guy they called the War God, had been on bad terms with our boss for years. Eventually, the War God and the Jaeger King decided to settle things with one big duel. They kept going for three days and three nights. In the end, they both fell. After that, the Zephyr I'd grown up with disbanded. All the members who were left just kind of scattered. I don't know where they went. Then, 
Just like that, I was alone again. Huh. I... Uh, I don't know what to say. After that, you ended up coming to the Academy? Yep. Just when I was wondering what I'd do next, Sarah showed up. She said she'd been following the situation between Zephyr and the Red Constellation. That's how we first met. I told her about what happened, and she dragged me to the Academy. She introduced me to the principal, and after that... Well, you know the rest. That's quite a history. Listening to you tell your story really brings into focus how limited my view of the world has been. But I feel like I finally know you. There's still so much more I want to learn, of course, but at least this gives me a base to build on. How about it? Care to mix things up a little? Oh. Let's do it. Now wait just a minute. <sighs> I should have known. I guess I've had this coming since the practical exam, huh? Well, it's at your discretion, of course. I doubt either of us has the energy to fight at our peak. But we'll give it a try. You've got to be kidding me! We haven't got a chance against them! Come on, this is a good opportunity to see what they can really do, right? Let's just think of this as a little bonus for our field study, and give it the best we've got. Uh, fine. But I don't intend to hold back. So I expect no less from both of you. <laughs> you have my thanks. Here we go. I'm not going to hold back. Fine, I'll do it. My turn. My turn. Should have seen that so coming. Ridiculous. Evil will fall before my blade. We, we did it. Uh huh. <sighs> 
You two. It's like they're off in their own little world. <laughs> I think we've just witnessed the birth of an unstoppable duo. Hey, what are you four doing? Oh, crap. Uh-oh. Students, are you from one of the local high schools? We received reports of a group causing a terrible racket in the park. What in Adios's name were you doing? Uh, please, sir, that, this isn't what it might seem like. There's a perfectly reasonable, uh, though admittedly rather complicated, explanation for all of this. Um, we're very sorry for any trouble we've caused. We tried to minimize the disturbance to others, but it seems we weren't totally successful there. Hmm. Perhaps dueling in the park wasn't as good of an idea as it first seemed. Maybe the underground tunnels would have been better. You know, it's a little late for such deep insights. Besides, who do you think were the ones who started this? Don't just act like you're some innocent bystanders! Moving up in the world. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Keep up the good work. <laughs> 